Now in this part, I'll be configuring the typography and color. So let's jump into my design and see what kind of color and typography I have used here. Now if I click on font or any text over here, at the right side here you can say I'm using Montserrat, which is bold and also not to sense which is regular for the body text now if i click on the menu item here you can see the font family let's click again it also monsterat and the body text is not a sense so i think that's enough for the moment let's go to the dashboard and hover over appearance click on customize so i'll be using astra free theme and that's why here you can see another options which is more options available in astra pro so if you are not familiar with the astra pro then uh, you can stick with this tutorial and uh, i'll be sharing with you some tips and tricks regarding astra pro and also that will help you to understand whether it's perfect for you or not also i will be showing you some another customizer options from astra pro because uh, i have used astra pro a lot of time and on most of my client projects i used astra pro so let's continue with a free version of this astra theme so i'm going to change the typography here click on global go to typography and change the body font not to sense Here you can see the heading font family and for the heading font family you can change Montserrat and there are a couple of variants that I have used which is bold and also semi bold and let's take a look if is there any other version here yes it's a bold and semi bold and the font size h2 should be 42 pixel and h3 should be 36 pixel and h1 65 now let's change the font family from here so the body font is not to sense and size 17 and heading font family i have changed already Currently the font weight is bold or we can use normal we can change it from here individually. Now the heading one inherit that means it will take uh, the global which is the heading font family it will inherit means it will take Montserrat by default which is inherit based on the above heading font family here now if i select font weight it should bold and 65 pixel heading one and if i choose heading two it also displays bold and heading to font size let's take a look which is 42 pixel and heading three 36 pixel now change it 42 and heading 3 36 pixel well so this is how it works and i have changed the heading and underline content test i just uh, want to remove this one i do not use underline inside the inner content area now for the heading font uh, heading 4 you can change the heading 4 uh, from here or you can keep the same as of now so i have changed the typography and click publish now go to the colors and i'll be changing this color also so let's go back to my design here and let's take a look what kind of color i'm using right now so currently there is only two color uh, probably it's three color black white and yellow let's click on the yellow copy the color from here go to customize and change it to yellow color and the other color looks perfect 
so I think uh, there is no need to change them at this moment so if I take a look at some other color here so the link color and other color should be different well so if i go to customize again and here you can see the link color we can change the link color a little bit darker so that uh, it looks different here so now it looks like this and in the next part i'm going to create the header based on our design